Never before have we been involved in satellite collaring of wild elephants, but a research partnership with Assistant Professor Daniela Chuseed of Indiana University has now given us this exciting opportunity to really understand the elephants of Kafui National Park where the orphans are being released. For the last 14 years, Game Rangers International has been working in and around Kafui National Park to secure its wildlife, support the communities living alongside the park, and to rescue, rehabilitate and release orphaned elephants back into the wild, giving them a second chance for life. Before release, the orphans are fitted with GPS satellite collars to enable us to monitor their progression back in the wild. But in order to truly get a picture of their integration, we must also further understand the herds they are living amongst. Satellite collar data provides us with essential information about elephant populations and supports their long-term security. Their movements and dynamics will inform critical law enforcement planning to ensure their security, as well as supporting human-elephant conflict mitigation, keeping both the community and the elephants safe. Satellite collaring of elephants has been utilised for nearly 30 years and it remains to be the most reliable solution to real-time monitoring of elephants for their safety. Whilst the collars may appear cumbersome, research shows they do not negatively impact welfare and our own close observations reinforce this and highlight the benefits of remote monitoring. But getting a collar on a wild elephant is no easy task. It requires incredible skill and coordination from helicopter pilots, vets and collar fitters. In our first mission with Indiana University, we collared six elephants. Finding elephants is the first hurdle and the dense tree canopy provides plenty of cover. Whilst the helicopter went up with Dr Innocent, the National Park's principal vet, we also had teams on the ground searching for elephants. Elephants are selected carefully, avoiding mothers with young calves or pregnant females, and this requires an expert eye. The sound of the helicopter usually causes the elephants to move out of cover, and the experienced pilot will ensure he drives the target elephant into a safe location for darting, away from any water sources and into the open. Once the dart is in, it takes just a few minutes for the elephant to feel the effects of the drug. But once it shows signs of going down, the team land and rush to the elephant's side. The primary focus is always the welfare and the health of the individual elephant. It is critical they get the elephant in a good position, with pressure off of its lungs and a straight trunk for a clear airway. Once this has been confirmed, the team proceed to fit the collar also taking measurements and biological samples which will contribute to our greater understanding of the elephant's health and that of the wider population. The whole operation is over within minutes as the team work as quickly and efficiently as possible to get the elephant back on its feet. The team withdraw to the helicopter as Dr Innocent reverses the anaesthetic and quickly boards whilst monitoring the elephant's recovery. As soon as he is happy with the elephant's response, the helicopter moves away to minimise stress and allow the elephant to communicate and reunite with its herd who will not have gone far. With the collars deployed on these wild elephants, our research team are able to begin tracking their movements within the greater Kafui landscape, noting any integration and overlap with the released orphans and building up a picture of their habitat preferences and range, which will all feed into a wider support system for their long-term security and the bigger picture of wildlife conservation.